Once again, six three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, for a knockout decides the winner. In the red corner, the captain of the team, the British lightweight champion, Steve Gray. Cyanide said in person. Cooper now building those from London. Actually, originally from Queensbury, near Halifax. 11 and a half stone taking on the British lightweight champion, Steve Gray. Once again, six three minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to the side. And it's Cooper going straight for a pinfall with a side folding press. Max Ward, the referee on this occasion. <laughs> oh, beautiful strong. The timing for that. Beautiful by Steve Gray. He really has got it, this boy. No wonder he's one of the most popular wrestlers in the country today. He's uh, so quick. Really mercurial, his speedy moves and his counter moves are so fast that I don't know how the, the, his opponent ever knows where they're coming from. Really brilliant pass for this ball. And shouldn't really have too much problem with Cooper. He'll probably lose his temper anyway and start using the inside moves, if I know said Cooper. Okay, Mr. Wong. The lady from just behind us there shouting what an ugly specimen, specimen Cooper is. I must admit his uh, side of his face could turn that side, all right. He just got married to a London secretary. <laughs> I don't know how he managed that. In the ring is a villain, and believe me, outside the ring is a villain too. Perfectly sure. <laughs> I've met him many times away from the wrestling halls, and I've never seen another expression on his face yet. Avalon, <laughs> nice to over the top, good wrestler though. And if only you kept the rules, he'd really be a very, very excellent welterweight, this man. Seven pound weight advantage over Gray. Forty seconds to go. It's first round. First of knee holds. Over the top, nice shoulder press further, but didn't quite work. Further shoulder press was up. Just a beautiful turn by Gray. Yes. Twelve seconds left. Come on, Mr. Ward. One two. One two. Now Cooper will never hold him from there and knows it, so he releases right on the bell. A ground. Trapping, uh, I think, probably himself. He, must, he does make a, a couple of beautiful moves in early rounds. You can, you can tell what a, a, a good wrestler this fella is. If only he'd keep away from those inside moves that he seems unable to resist. The punches on the inside. Seconds away, round two. But Steve Gray can look after that situation if it comes. I'm quite sure. Backbreaker to Cooper. But he's forgotten the feet. Okay. He's got both arms working in the head end, but yeah, no, no, no. he's left the feet. No. So he's got no hope at all of getting a fall or submission from this now. Unless he can hold the feet down as well. No, 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 no. Headlock and strangle, Cooper. Cooper doing a lot of the attacking at the moment. Oh, no. 
Sid Cooper's team, the uh, Rockers, one down already. With Mel Sanders as win. Use of the hair. Max Ward, the referee, accuses him. Of course, he denies it. so hard he brought down the cushioning and I think Gray's back went straight into the middle hook there which is solid thick metal halfway through this round flying tackle again but this time again he catches him beautifully and slams him over the top nicely double leg Nelson and Gray, the first ball. In one minute, 56 seconds. Out round two. In one minute, 56 seconds of round two. First ball of the contest goes to Steve Gray. So Gray gets the first one, much to the pleasure of everybody here, except of course one. And that's him, apparently, sportingly shaking hands with the winner of that four. Seventh away, one three. Round three, four rounds to go. Gray leading one four to nil. Gray in the plain black trunks, of course, with the silver boots. <laughs> Cooper going a lot, his headlock and strangle. There it is again. to turn out of it most of the time. But he's in a reverse side headlock now. <laughs> so far we haven't we've only seen Cooper use the hair pull once and one possible punch. Otherwise he's kept to the rules very well. Nice to see it. It's a good uh, four round smash. Well, before his man was up, they said it too early. Nasty inside of the four round. Apparently going for four Nelson, but no, it isn't. It's uh, trying to hold again. Okay. Reverse top of knee hold, Cooper. As, as so often happens, Gray goes for that body scissors. Gets himself out of trouble and fights into a pinfall chance. on the side that almost got a 2-0 win there for his team. Yes. Just under a minute now. Come on. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Come on, Come on. 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 Starting most of the attack in the house. Taking the lead of the stomach. On the referee gives his first public warning to side Sid Cooper. For which he gets his first public warning right on the bell. Just five seconds to go. Of round three. Well, uh, 
see Cooper still arguing about the public warning, I think. But Gray, on the other hand, a little worried by one or two moves he's made, counter moves that have landed right in his neck, getting out of the tricky holes.